Thousands of youths answer Niger Janta's call for volunteers ahead of ECOWAS in Russia. Wow, this is another new stuff that thousands of youths in Niger have answered the call to join, voluntarily join the force to get ready to fight ECOWAS in case they invade. That is to tell you how people are happy, how the Nigerians are happy with the, with the coup. Because they are tired of what is happening in Niger. They are tired of the way France is exploiting them and they need to fight for their freedom. Unfortunately, rather than ECOWAS supporting them to fight and secure their freedom from France, they want to go and invade and destroy them so that they remain under the control of France. That doesn't make sense. That They should understand what is going on there. The global political um, undertone behind that uh, activity in uh, in uh, in uh, in DJ. Okay, um, supporters of DJ Junta. Okay, supporters of DJ Junta were forced on Saturday to halt a census of people willing to volunteer for non-military roles in defense against a possible intervention by West African powers, saying they had been uh, overwhelmed by the number who turned up, oh boy. Thousands of mostly young men had massed outside a stadium in the capital, Niamey, hours before the scheduled start time of the event, a sign of the strong support in some quarters for the junta, which has defied international pressure to stand down after the July 26th Oscar of President Mohamed Bazoum. In all, in all our calculations and our understandings, we never thought we could, you know, mobilize this number of people, said Yonusa Hima, co-organizer of the initiative dubbed the Mobilization of Young People for the Fatherland. So it is really difficult for us today to do this work. That is what made us halt this census. Hima said by the stadium, after the after the crowds dispersed west africa's main regional block the economic committee of west african state on friday said it had agreed an undisclosed d-day for a possible military invasion if diplomatic effort failed an escalation that could further destabilize a conflict a conflict torn and impoverished region that is west african region Organizers of the Naomi recruitment drive said they did not intend to sign up volunteers for the army, but rather to gather a list of people willing to learn their civilian skills in case a covers attack. But many of those around the stadium appeared keen to fight. So possible attack. They called on the youth to respond to a possible attack on our soil, and we are ready for any attack said blogger Tahiru Sidu Abdul Nasiru. Hmm. My life, I give my life to my country, he said, wiping a tear from his eyes as other young men nodded and cheered his words. An ECOWAS delegation flew into Niamey on Saturday to hold talks with the junta, showing that efforts to resolve the standoff peaceably are still underway. But the guy has said no. <laughs> the level of support for the junta across Niger had been hard to assess, but thousands attended the previous rally at the stadium on August 11 and applauded coup leaders who vowed to stand up to the block. Bagam. So at the stadium on Saturday, 35 year old Kada Halu um, said patriotism was not the only motivation for those wanting to help the junta. Most of the young people who had come are unemployed. Getting registered is a blessing for us, given the idleness and lack of work, he said. The coup and subsequent international sanctions had piled extra pressure on the just struggling economy. It is one of the world's least developed countries with more than 40% of the population living in extreme poverty, according to the World Bank. Hmm. So what we are seeing here 
is that the military junta called for young men capable young men to come and join them you know in preparation for possible invasion of the air covers in the block okay and now with what they have seen the thousands of people turned up even though they don't intend to enroll them in the military the plan is to enroll them in the in the other uh, non-militant roles or uh, non-militia roles as well just to help in case um, the the ECOWAS soldiers enter the the country unfortunately thousands of young people turned up young men and uh, again these young men that came seem to be very eager to fight they're not ready to do any lazy job in the office or background support they are ready to fight it means that if they roll them to the military the guys will be happy and what is leading to that is not just patriotism in the country unemployment is increasing because of the bad governance instituted by uh, the austed president Mohammed Bazoum. So a lot of people are unemployed, unoccupied, unproductive. And so signing up their name for this kind of activity is a uh, way of occupying them and they're happy to be involved. Hence, they turned up in numbers to say they are available. This is a very uh, challenging situation in Niger. Okay. So the guys, so this is, this sends a very strong message. The message here is that the people of Niger are happy with the military junta. In fact, they gather at the stadium each time to support and to praise and to heal the junta because the guys are tired of the influence of, of uh, France in that country. They are tired of bad government under President Mohamed Bazoum. Okay, Mohamed Bazoum is just like a puppet in the hand of the French. You can imagine, they said, the minister for mines in Niger cannot visit the mining site of uranium until he gets permission from France. How? And in Niger Republic Sando, in Niger Republic soil, not not in uh, abroad, not in France. So how did he get how did they get to that point where uh, uh, France has taken hold of their military sorry of their natural resources, including uranium? Uranium is a very highly sorted uh, uh, solid mineral today that is used for nuclear activities. Yeah. So what is happening now is that the guys are ready to fight for themselves. They don't care what comes out of it. They must, this is fight for freedom, fight to finish. Fight now or suffer forever. And take they have been pushed to the war and they can't continue. Since President Bazoum is a puppet in the hand of the French, he is not going and he had the worst government ever that from what they are saying. He has put so many people into abject poverty, he's dancing to the tone of the French. All of that put together, the guy became a problem and they didn't want him again. Hence, hence he was busted out of office. So let's see, the signal has come. Niger is getting ready. Apart from Burkina Faso and Mali, deploying warplanes into Niger to wait on standby. The young men of Niger are also waiting on standby to see what the West African bloc will do. Otherwise, <laughs> they finish it at once. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comments.